Tonight, a Pineville mom is sharing her outrage over the gun violence in the area after waking up to her home in the crosshairs. That mother tells us that a bullet went flying through her home in the middle of the night, just barely missing the crib where her infant sleeps. She spoke with our Hunter Signs about her close call and her message for local leaders and the community. This story could have been different. 11 week old Sienna Grace was peacefully asleep in this crib last Thursday night. Whatever reason, I moved her to my room that night at about 1.30 in the morning. Her mom, Megan, says about an hour and a half later, she heard something. I was pretty sound asleep at that point, but I knew something wasn't right. When she walked in her baby's room later that morning, she saw this, a bullet hole shot through this wall just a foot above Sienna's crib, the bullet piercing through two other walls inside the room. The last thing I would ever think of, this is my safe space. I expect my neighborhood to be safe. It is safe. So this is shocking. In a police report, Pineville police say the bullet was fired off during a domestic dispute next door. Megan says regardless, all violence has to stop. What happens in your home is what happens in your home. But when it comes into my home, which is an innocent, safe space, these things can't happen. The Charlotte area is no stranger to gun violence taking the lives of innocent children. Police say a child under the age of five was shot and injured a week ago off East Independence. Two weeks before that, three-year-old Asaya Figaro was killed in a drive-by shooting while he was sleeping in his home. This mother, thankful a bullet missed her innocent child as she hopes area leaders will take action. We have to create safe spaces for our families and our children. And I just don't feel like that's happening right now. Let's love each other. Let's care for each other. Let's care about our neighbors. In Pineville, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. Absolutely frightening. Well, Hunter tells us that Pineville police are investigating this case. And Megan told him for now, she puts her baby in a bassinet at night and lowers it to the ground in front of her bed. She says that it's the safest place that she can think of in case this happens again.